Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, good day. It depends on where you are. Uh, I'm Gerald, one half of Gerald and Yvette Ministries. And I'm broadcasting at 4 a.m. in Hawaii on my morning walk. So, we just literally finished our um, boot camp Hawaii last night. Can I tell you, it was just, God is so amazing. He constant, he, he continues to, to show himself, um, man, mighty. He just amazes me all the time. And so, as I was sleeping last night, before I went to bed, I was like, okay, God, you know, what's next? And... And I, I find myself asking God that a lot. What's next, God? What's next? And I got to answer this morning, right? <laughs> he says, because when you ask for something, you always, you're literally asking me now, Gerald. Because there was a time when I didn't ask God what was next. Because I wasn't really willing to meet the requirements to get to the next. So I wouldn't even ask. Matthew 7, 7 and 8. It says, Seek and you shall find. Knock, it shall open. And I'm telling you, if you are never asking, seeking, looking, you're gonna get you find yourself. I find myself in a place of of, of stagnation, um, being stagnant, not really um, wanting to actually do what God has been asking me to do. So, as I was got up this morning, God said something to me. He said, "Because you because you constantly ask me now." Because you constantly ask me now, I'm showing you what's next. And when I tell you the things that I see, that what God is saying is next, it no longer scares me because I know he orchestrates my steps. Because there's things I say, you know, in the morning, the Lord, you said the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. And so I'm constantly asking the Lord to order my steps. So as, I'm, as I continue to seek God in different areas of my life, God continues to show me the next, what I want you to do next, what I want you to say next, what I want you to speak next, what I want you to declare next, always next. And so I'm, I'm like, okay, God, I, I'm, I love when you just speak to me. So that means I'm, I'm building my relationship back up with God. That he trusts me with my next. Woo. I remember times where I used to be stuck in a place where I wanted something new. I wanted to be something different. But I wasn't really ready to be um, obedient and disciplined to walk out or be mature enough to handle my next. I'm telling you, man, it's kind of hard for me because my mind goes back to the conversations where God was speaking to me and I was telling God to be quiet. But God been, he was trying to get me to my next. He was trying to get me to my, to give me instructions to get to my next. And I wasn't willing to get to my next. But let me tell you, when you get to a place, and I got to that place where I couldn't do no more. I couldn't walk anymore. I couldn't do anything on my own. I couldn't do it. I, I, I was just 
just completely out. Ooh, Jesus. The wind just picked up. And I hear God saying, I'm breathing on you. I'm giving you a fresh wind. I'm giving you fresh momentum going into your next season. That I got the wind. You got the wind behind you. And I'm blowing on you. And now he's dropping a, like a little mist on me. So I feel like he's kissing me. Y'all don't catch what I'm saying. It's because I'm seeking God. It's because I'm asking God. It's because I'm knocking. I'm constantly knocking on the door. Come on, God. What's up? Talk to me. Speak to me. I need to hear you. I need to hear you. I'm seeking. I'm seeking your face. I'm seeking your presence. Come on. Come on. I'm always asking. Come on, God. What's next? What's next for me? What's next for my family? What's next for the ministry? What's next for the army? What's next? What's next? What am I to do? What am I to do? I wonder why I was like, get up, go walk. Territory. Wherever you tread your feet, I'm giving it to you. I don't know what territory I'm, get, I'm gaining. All I know is I'm being obedient by walking and trading my feet on this ground. I don't know what it's unlocking, but I'm asking God. I'm knocking on the door, God. Hey, hey, what is this doing? What am I doing? What is it unlocking? What is it doing for my family? What is it doing for the ministry? What is it doing for some other people? Hmm. I, I realized I had to get delivered from the me, myself, and our spirit, the selfish spirit, because my old self would still been laying in bed and not wanting to do this because my body is tired and I just want to lay down and go to sleep. But God, when I got up, God just gave me a, a fresh wind. He gave me some new energy. And so I'm excited about being up and walking because I don't know who I'm walking for. I might be, I might, hey, come on now. It might be unlocking somebody's um, health, unlocking somebody's wealth. I'm unlocking, I don't even, I'm not even thinking about it for me. I'm not even thinking about it for my, for my selfish gain. I'm thinking about it for the, for other people. And that's what God wants me to do. Why? Because I'm a servant and I have a servant's heart. And so I'm always asking God, what's next? I want to know what's next because I want to keep moving forward. I don't want to stay stagnant. I don't want to go backwards. I don't want to lose. I just want to gain momentum for the kingdom. So I pray that, that, that that's you. I pray that you are seeking God. You're asking God. You're looking for God. You're knocking. You're trying to get it because you don't want to stay stagnant. But as you do it, you're willing to be obedient. You're willing to be obedient. Come on, y'all. You got to be disciplined. Because when you get those, when you get that next, it might not sound or it might not look how you thought it was going to look. But will you be willing to walk it out? Will you be willing to accept the answer and to move in it? I believe you are. I believe you can. Come on. I believe you can. God wouldn't, listen, God wouldn't give you anything that he didn't think that you would be able to do, that you wouldn't be able to conquer. He wouldn't do you like that. So, as you getting into your secret place, you getting into your place where you and God meet, you and God commune, come on. Somebody, somebody catching this. Somebody needing this this morning. Somebody's really needing this this morning. Come on. Because I'm telling you, I know what our next look like. And I'm so excited. 
I know that we're, me and my wife are disciplined enough to, com to complete this task. And it's so big that I knew, I know we can't do it in our own. This is all about God. He gave me this thing this morning. When I got up and walked out of the hotel, it hit. So I'm excited. I really and truly am excited. And so I want y'all to get excited about your next. Get excited about meeting God, seeing God, um, communing with God to get the information for your next. And let your next not only be a one, one season, but let your next continue to be in seasons to come that you keep growing from level to level and going to glory to glory. I speak that over you. I speak the discipline that you need to carry out your next, that you'll be disciplined enough to walk out the instructions, every, every aspect of it, and that you'll grow in a new area in your life. And that it'll unlock something that will benefit not only your family, but families that are connected to you and the kingdom of God. All right? And y'all be blessed. And y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful morning. Have a great day. Be blessed. I'm going to Starbucks. Put my wife up. Well, I thought Starbucks I was. So it's still there. Ministries, gym ministries in Hawaii. So our boot camp is over, and now the next couple of days it's just me and my babe, me and my wife. Our anniversary is on Tuesday, and we celebrated our anniversary week, days, I guess, days to up up to with our army and now whoo this afternoon after we walked this mountain this morning it's just me and her and we're gonna have a ball so we'll we'll uh post some things for you to see but i'm excited 21 years come on y'all 21 years man i can remember when it wasn't gonna make it Past five and six. We talking about 21 now. Come on, God. When God says next, <laughs> come on, next year. Come on. Next year. Next year. Let's get better. Took me a long time to get better though. But hey, guess what? Thank God I got better. Thank God my mind got renewed. Thank God I'm in a better place. Thank God. Man, I'm about to cry. Oh, Jesus. That woman loved the unlovable. How about that? All right, y'all. I ain't going to stay on no more. Because y'all might sound like I'm babbling, but I'm starting to get excited. My heart's starting to pump a little faster. Ooh. Because I know what God has done for me. And he since he, and, and I know he's not a respecter of persons. Because if he did it for me, he'll do it for you. So, ask God what's next. And expect to get an answer. And when you get the answer, walk it out. Because he gives you the grace to do it. He gives you the strength to do it. He gives you everything you need to do it. God is able to do all things. And all things are possible through Christ who strengthens you. So, be encouraged, be in faith, and walk in love. Y'all have a blessed day.